all right guys welcome back welcome in um we're here at my favorite spot um paradise mountain guys uh check it out sorry a lot of spider webs um even on my camera that's the mountain it's the mountain we're going to so it's a great uh, little range you guys know my being spot is right up there that's where i do my being i sit my chair up at that top right there do being and traverse the ridge so obviously the trail it goes like that up the mountain and so you traverse the ridge back down so i want to talk about new developments guys um as you know i don't really sorry there's like webs on the spot on uh, the camera so i don't really talk about the same thing i don't do the same thing I mean, I do the same thing technically. I'm here at Content Mountain, but I I still rotate and find new places. Um, but Content Mountain is just it holds a special place in my heart. Um, it's just uh, it always seems to heal me every any time I'm going through issues or have done a lot of doing. And I need to just be. It's really healing. And so. If you guys can find some kind of place in nature like that for you. Um, it really helps. But I want to talk about. Um, look. The past two days. I've had. Not been able to hit the trails or nature. Or be out too much. So. Just to keep things short. Um, <clears throat> when I talk I do get dehydrated. Or my throat gets dry. But. So, you know, my mom is off on these two days, and when she's off, I can't really, it's harder for me to kind of leave, um, because, well, you feel bad, right, leaving your mom alone on her days off, um, so, I mean, when she's off, I kind of have to keep her entertained and be with her I don't have to right but it's just like I feel like I have to um but I don't have to but look I'm trying to find a balance between everything so and again that's kind of what it's all about is there you don't like for me I at this point in my life, I, I can't take the easy way out. So, I've taken the easy way out a lot of the times. I, I mean, most people do. They take the easy way out. Why? Because it's the easy way out. So, um, the easy way out for me would to just literally one day, um, next week, pack my things up and, and leave live out of my car and travel full time or even leave the country to another place like I really wanted to go to Guatemala and travel but I can still do those things if if I maintain a balance I mean slowly for my mom in particular and people people in general it's like if they are dependent on you or attached to you you do kind of have to wean them off. It's kind of like a drug. Like, it's harder to just straight up detach. Um, um, cause you know, it's just easier to wean them off slowly. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'll always be there obviously for my mom and my family and stuff, but I don't want dependency on me or anything like that. Um, I'm an independent person, um, and I like being alone, as you guys know, with myself, so, it is hard for me to, just, like, I was with my mom for two days in a row, and I was just craving this freedom, and, oh my god, I just had to, like, burst out of the house, so, that's how kind of, like, I need my freedom and I need my um, independence and my alone time. Um, so 
I was craving it and that's kind of why I had to come out here guys to this mountain again it's content mountain but I'm not here to make content I actually enjoy this mountain alone and there is a balance between um, all of this so you know being alone being with people being in nature being in civilization you know to one extreme there's an opposite and so finding the balance between both is you know always key like for me it's like living out of my um, SUV I could live out of home and find a balance between the two <clears throat> You have um, a partner or a friend, you can find the balance between being with them and not being with them and being alone. Um, so it's just everything is about that. It's about balance. Um, but the easy way out always seems great. But the easy way out is not necessarily the most rewarding at all. And in fact, it kind of always seems to go against people. Um, I want to talk about, you know, my, my other two members of my family, my siblings. Well, they both did take the easy way out, which was kind of um, just leaving the house, uh, getting a job, right, going to college, getting a job, and then leaving the house, um, even leaving the country. My brother, he left the country, so, and he works in Singapore, so, because... Again, he really hated America. And so, um, my sister again, she worked, she did college, she has a job and she works in a different state, but now she hates her job. And also my brother is struggling, very struggling emotionally and with his friends, finding friends. And guys, both of my siblings are aren't in a great place like I am so I think it can be attributed to that they kind of kicked themselves out um the easy way I mean that's the easy way guys is to to get a um to get a degree or go to college and get a job that's kind of the easy way out um it, it really is um it's not survival and you're not you're also not really doing anything particularly authentic to yourself as a child every child has different dreams they have they want to be a firefighter or for me I wanted to be a pilot or some people wanted to be like ambulance drivers or you know it's like or a nurse you know I don't know, everyone has a dream, right, when they're a kid. I, I, I guarantee you that no child, you know, the age of four or five, has a dream of going to Harvard. Where does that come from? It comes from the parents, right, or the programming. No child wants to go to school. No child wants to get a degree out of the womb you know, five, six years into their life, guys. They are just enjoying life. And they have dreams of that are more authentic to themselves. So, for me, college and, I tried college twice, guys. I dropped out of college twice. I went to a four-year college 
planning to get a bachelor's in computer science and business. Then I went, dropped out. I dropped out my first year because it didn't align with my authentic self. And it was hard. It was the hardest thing for me to do because your parents have expectations of you going to school and getting a job and it was hard guys so <clears throat> I just got so fed up with college that it was just so wrong for me and that it was just programmed into me from high school and the people around me it wasn't truly what I wanted to to work a job like get a degree work a job so I had to make you know I, I had to take the hard way out which was just dropping out not knowing what to do and I had a lot of debt from that they left me with debt you know so that's again what college kind of does is it leaves you with a lot of debt and it robs you of your soul and your authentic desires and wishes so um I had to start carving my own path out after I left college and it was not something I was doing consciously. <clears throat> it's not like I'm carving out my path consciously, but I'm just following my soul and that's the right way to do it guys. It's So, I tried a lot of things, you know, after college, and I, I'm i just giving this information because I personally don't care about the past, but I'm just giving this information out for anyone, you know, just so you guys know, but um, I tried a lot of things, I... Definitely tried looking for things that resonated with me. Jobs or ways of making money that resonated with me. And so on my, uh, you know, I tried college again, a community college, and it was way better. It definitely resonated with me way better. Um, and so when you're in that, when you find something that's authentic to your soul, it really resonates with you in a certain way that something that doesn't you know it you feel different and so that led me to other things and eventually i found out what i wanted to do so i dropped out of that second year two-year college because my original plan there was to get my associates and then reapply for a four-year but you know, the universe led me to greater things. And so, just out of a coincidence, I did learn how to code. I knew how to code, right? Not from college, but self-taught. From a young age, like 14, 15 years old, I was coding stuff, like making software. And um, I cheated. So I was a big fan of cheating, guys. If you can cheat in college, please cheat. So I'm a huge fan of cheating. I promote cheating. So I love cheating. And I would cheat on all my homeworks and my assignments. Now it's kind of hard to do, right? Because there's plagiarism checking out there. So what happened is I got caught for cheating. And... One of my computer science professors called me in to his office. Well, first, he failed me in the class. I had a B plus, A plus in the class. And I failed. I One day I checked my grade book or whatever. And I saw this huge D. A huge D on my overall grade. So I was obviously shocked. I was like. So he called me into his office. He's like, he left a note there. He's like, 
swing by. So I was really scared, right? I came into his office. <laughs> this is funny because the universe really tells you, like, has a plan for you. Even if you think it's bad, guys. I thought it was, it was like one of the worst feelings of my life because it tanked my GPA. Guys, that D also led me to drop out of the second college. But check it out. How he caught me cheating, guys, was he put my code. He printed everybody's code out for the project. He took my code and he took another person's code. He highlighted the exact lines of code on mine that matched the other person's. And he basically said I would plagiarized and copied this other person. That's why he failed me. I copied, I cheated. Which I did. Um, I did. But of course I was trying to fight back like, no, no, I didn't. Like, he cheated off me, blah, 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 right? But he knew. So, the guilt and all that, right? But, that's when I got an idea, guys. And, I had this idea of, well, look at this retard. First of all, I had some time to digest. And I was like, look at this retard, old, head, thinking he's smarter than me. He's trying to teach me something here. But look at the way he checks how people cheat. He's printing out pieces of paper of code. He's printing out stacks of paper of people's code when they're being submitted through an online system. So... I was like, dude, this guy is retarded. My professor is a retard. He has a PhD, but he's a retard. So, I came up with the first code plagiarism checking software that has become commercial. There, are, There's been a few before, but there's there was never any code checking software that checks online you can look this up i'm not gonna say the name but you can just google code plagiarism checking and maybe you'll find it so i built this software i spent one and two years building the software and based off this experience with my professor because he showed me that there's a problem that all these professors are manually checking cheating that there's no tool or software doing this automatically. So with that, I solved the problem. I created my own solution, put it on the market, followed my soul, my passion. I followed my soul and that led me to publishing the software. And it started making me passive income. Six years later, the software is still making me passive income, guys. It's been making me passive income for the last six years of my life. And so I got these comments like, you don't have a job, get a job, right? This is what happened to me. And those one to two years, my head was down coding. I was working against all odds, focus on my passion, coding 12 hours a day. And I was taking drugs. I was. I was taking focus drugs. I was taking Adderall. But I had to do this because it was my passion and I had to get the software out. And I'm not saying any of this to brag, guys. This is what happens when you follow your soul. And go against everything else out there that's telling you otherwise. The universe will reward you for following your soul and your authentic wants and desires. But if you go against that, if you follow your mind instead, the mind that's been programmed by other people, by society, you're only gonna end up doomed. So, and that's a guarantee. The mind is akin to pure suffering. So, following your mind is, you're never gonna be happy you're never gonna be happy. You're gonna constantly be thinking, 
doing, escaping, anxiety, depression, when you follow your soul, you're doing what's right with the universe. But there's a divine plan out there for everybody. But unfortunately, that's been lost. And hopefully, you guys can start following your soul, following your authentic purpose. So, obviously I've taken my, my um, family as an example, my two siblings. I just see what they're going through. My sister is crying constantly. She just quit her job, guys. She is now on unemployment because she hated her job. It was killing her soul. My brother is having mental issues. He's on medication. He has no friends. He's in a toxic relationship. My other friends... Same thing. They're married, but they're unhappy. They're living in their minds. So, this is all because people aren't following their authentic souls, their selves. So, this is why I do the hard thing, guys. This is why I don't take the easy way out anymore. So... <clears throat> You know, against all odds, you do have to break out of, you do have to break out of um, the programming, the conditioning, you know, no matter what hell breaks loose, guys. <clears throat> because you can manage it. Even if all hell breaks loose, you will still be able to manage it. You still have a mind. You still have a mind. You're just not following its programs and its conditioning. So, I'm going to end this here, guys. This one was a really different video. But I hope it really can help you guys align to your, your guys' purpose, your real soul's desires and wants. <clears throat> Take me in as an example. I've been through this. I'm out here, I'm living my life. I'm extremely happy and grateful. I'm just doing what I feel. And I figure out, I'll figure things out as I go. That's the whole point of life is there's no plan. You just do, you handle things as they come. And so, even if my passive income goes bankrupt, I still will handle it as best as I can and there's a million ways to make money so I want to end this off here guys please please do what's best for you do what's best for your your really deep desires not desires of the mind which are material or external do what you really want inside and in order to figure that out you have to do being as I say look at my other videos about doing being and you'll understand all it is is what we're doing here we're just existing We have no purpose, no objective. We're doing nothing. When you do being, you can go inside and realize what is it that you actually want. What's keeping you away from what you want? Your problems dissolve when you're doing being 
Everybody has their own way of doing being. You guys know mine. It's being out in nature. Soaking in the sun. And releasing all thought. And just being present. Appreciating life. Having gratitude. In these moments you realize your problems are not real. What's real is in what's in front of you. What's real is this right here. I don't see a problem in front of me right now. Do you guys? Problems are of the mind. They don't exist, guys. And that's it, guys. Do some being. Find some peace. And it's ironic because doing being is doing nothing at all. It's just existing. So... This is why I come out here for these moments. The peace, the feeling of the sun, the fresh air, the sounds of the birds. Which I don't like too much. Um, personally, but it feels good to do being guys and, um, you can do being anywhere in the world. You can do being from your home. Um, you know, as long as I'm alone, I can do being in my home. I do it outside in the backyard and Again, doing being looks different to everybody. Um, it can look like yoga to one person or going to the beach for another person. Maybe laying on a towel in the sand. It can be meditating in a cave. Doing being is just a state, a state of... Um, consciousness it doesn't matter what how you do it materially as long as you can find something that you can find peace in and that you can kind of relieve overthinking and relieve problems obviously in a healthy way not drugs or anything like that. I'm gonna, you know, end this here. But guys, this is Content Mountain. I mean, Content Mountain, I'm always making videos here, guys. And I wish you guys could come out with me here one day. Content Mountain. Um... But we're out here. I mean, we are out here. So, you don't have to physically be out here to be out here. We're, we're out here. Even if you're watching through a screen. Um, we're on count, Content Mountain. So, that's it for this one, guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Um, and I'll hit you up with 
more content on Content Mountain. Peace, guys.